Hey guys, so today we're gonna split a 500 case. I uh, pulled the uh, 500 out of this bad boy and uh, the piston skirt I had fell into the block. So I'm ordering a new piston and we're gonna split a case. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So stay tuned. So if you watched my previous video about uh, tearing this engine apart, uh, the piston skirts uh, melted off and they fell into the 500 engine block so today I thought I'd shoot a quick video on how to disassemble the bottom end of a 500 uh, I'll post a link on uh, how to take the top end apart so I got the motor pulled and uh, right now I'm gonna start uh, taking the oiler tubes off the motor mount bolts and then uh, we're going to pull the uh, stator off and the flywheel and uh, get this bad boy uh, ripped apart. Now here we go. Okay, so I took the water pump cover off, so I'm going to take that off also. Get your Bendix gear out. For those of you wanting to know, uh, the mechanical uh, seal for your water pump it is right there so uh, when we split the case sides we're gonna have to be careful not to damage that right there there's timing marks one mark in the case and one on the, the plate there so when you assemble this make sure the marks line up where they were uh, this one looks like it was advanced a little bit so I'm gonna take a marker and and mark on it just so I know where it it should go back together. So then you'll take these five bolts off. That'll come out. Slide this out slowly. Now you can see where the chains hang in here. You can finally see that gear that rides on. There is a mark. There is a mark here, and oh, actually, the timing mark is right on that tooth. You line that up and line that up, and then you know you're going to be at top dead center when you put this back together. So then, uh, you can bolt this, pull your uh, chain guide out, pull your chain out, and we'll unbolt all that stuff. Also, there is a little O-ring here to keep in mind. Make sure it's not damaged. If it is, you'll want to replace it. Um, so then I'll go ahead and pull all these, uh, these bolts out. There's one, two, three, four. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Also, there's a, one of those nuts on there. And uh, for this particular nut, I do not have the socket for it, they're notched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a air hammer with a punch and I'm going to loosen that up. 
I'm pulling all them bolts out. I got a heavy duty uh, electric uh, drill I'm using. It's more for uh, lug nuts, but it works great on loosening these bolts. Take my magnet, pull them out. And uh, they say you should watch which way you put these in too. Keep in mind what bolt goes where. Don't recommend doing this unless you've got spare parts or nuts. See how that nut's got uh, slots around it. And it should be reverse threads. I'm going to take an air hammer I got here, which is a big no-no, but in a jam it'll work. Uh, but in a jam you do what you got to do. So uh, it's reverse threads, so tighten to loosen. Give it a little spank. Alright, there she comes off. You can take this gear off. Looks like that. Let's double check, make sure all your bolts are. Oh! I actually did that once. I put the case and tried to split the case side, and. Oh no, there was one bolt in there I didn't see. So. Now I have a case splitter, and uh, that's supposed to work out better. So I'm going to give that a shot and uh, see how it works. So we're going to put this case splitter on and then uh, while we're uh, cranking on this bolt we have to tap on that light lead to get that to pop out and the case should split in half. So let's give it a go. Uh, that was easy. Okay, so it's binding up a little down here. So I'm going to back it off a little bit. Make sure I'm not uh, getting on something I shouldn't be. Back it off a little bit. And now the, the case is pulling out this way more than on this side. So it's kind of twisting a little bit on the doll pins. So you got to get it to pop past that doll pin. So I just wrapped on uh, this part a little bit to break this free from the water pump and just keep cranking it until she comes apart. And you also have to make sure the uh, counterbalancer doesn't come with it. Working it slowly, and she comes apart. It's almost cleared the uh, water pump shaft. Should be about ready. To come off. Alright. Beautiful. Alright, so now you can see everything. It's your counterbalancer, crankshaft, your water pump, And uh, you can also see all the uh, piston skirting that fell in down here. Rest of the engine looks good. I don't see any damage. 
uh, from the piston skirt. And there you have it. That's how you split a Polaris 500 case. Piece of cake. Now, if you wanted to tear this part even further, you take this out. There's actually a little pin. And you take these bolts out. And then you can lift this out. And then use a press and push the crank out. And then there's timing marks. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Right there and there when you put it back together. And then when you put this little guy on, there's a little hole there. Really isn't a whole lot to this motor. Um, so yeah, hope this video helped you out. Um, this is my second time splitting a case. First time I uh, just used a rubber mallet. And uh, it was kind of a pain. And they say it's a bad idea, you could damage it. Uh, but if you're in a pinch and you need to do that, it's the way to go. Okay, so I got this case splitter off eBay. I'll post a link on where to get it. It's about 114 bucks. I tell you, that's the way to go. This thing's pretty slick. Uh, I wasn't sure because the, uh, the bolts are pretty thin. I thought those were going to bend. But yeah, didn't take a whole lot of pressure and she pulled right out. So I'm getting everything cleaned up here and I just wanted to point out a couple things while your uh, case is split. You have a little shim here. You have a shim right here. And also another one on the crank. And uh, I'm just going to show you what I mean here. It comes sliding off. So mine was actually stuck into the other side of the, the case when I pulled it apart. So watch that out while you're pulling things apart. And uh, while you're this far, inspect your mechanical water pump seal. Um, mine's kind of so-so. It's a little worn. Uh, and uh, on this side, this is where my shim was stuck. So... Carefully you don't lose those. So I guess uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope, hope this helps you out. And like always, till next time.